Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to My Chamber TV. Hey, you know, the Safety Harbor Chamber of Commerce has done it again, and we are at this beautiful, beautiful location, Bailey's Naturals Herbal Apothecary. I'm here with Julie Brandon. Well done. And I practiced that a lot. So uh, <laughs> first guest right out of the gate, but we're actually in her location, and you are this is amazing. It's pretty cool. I mean, I do. Okay, so we, we have expectations when we go to places, and it's like, oh, you know, it's going to be a cool place. But you have a lot of stuff. I do. I like to say we're little, but we're mighty because our store is not enormous, but we pack it full of all sorts of wonderful things. So let's start. What does Bailey's do? What we do, we are a focus on natural health okay pretty much is the easiest way to put it anything natural health whether it's herbs or vitamins or supplements or teas um we have it and our herbs are all organic or i'm very very picky about that because i use these herbs myself as well so um we do that i'm a master herbalist and so i custom blend medicinal teas for folks that's the fun part of my job we also have um, natural products for personal care and uh, every now and then we have eggs from a local farmer, which oh, is kind awesome. of fun, organic and free range. And so we just have a lot of fun. I don't think natural health and just maintaining our health in general right. should be serious. It shouldn't so, be scary or boring. We, we are all about let's find our good health and maintain it and keep a smile on our face the and, whole time. And you just didn't two weeks ago go, you know what, I think I'm just going to open myself up an apothecary. Yeah. You've been doing this for quite a while, haven't I you? I have. I'm going into my, I think it's my 24th year 24th doing year. this. I had a store in South Carolina for about eight years, which I sold and when I relocated to Florida in 2005. And uh, we've been here at the same location in downtown Safety Harbor ever since. Okay. So you have, you have a string of <laughs> letters after your name. <laughs> Let's talk about that real quick. Okay. So that is a D dot, oh gosh, I can't remember. PSC. PSC. That means uh, Diplomat of Pastoral Sciences. Okay. It's a national organization called the Professional Wellness Alliance. Okay. That um, basically I had to upload my CV and everything and then pay the money and whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's a, it's basically a licensing that allows me okay. to work as a, as a counselor of sorts or a health coach with people on an individual basis. Otherwise, here daily, I'm just a shop girl. There you go. So, because it's, you know, the reason I bring up, you know, the, the amount of time you have in this world uh -huh. is there's, it seems like there's a lot of people online that all of a sudden have become these gurus mm -hmm. of medic medicines, Eastern medicines, Western medicines, the whole nine yards. And it really isn't. So, why is it so, such a good idea to become more of the natural side uh, to keep yourself healthy? Like, I'm looking back here, I mean, you've got. Just behind us, it's 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 it's, over, it's eye almost candy, over. isn't it? It I, is. I've got a couple of hundred different single herbs. Um, well, I think when I do my talks and lectures and presentations, I always talk about the fact that our bodies are genetically coded to be compatible with that which is of the earth. Okay. We all know that a good healthy diet right. is fruits and vegetables. Yeah. And what are those? Plants. Mm -hmm. Our body sees these things and says, I know what to do with this. Right. Okay, I can I can use this towards my good health, use the nutrients. And so that is, is base, the basis of it all. Our bodies understand natural medicine. When we talk about chemical preparations and pharmaceutical drugs, the body is like, I'm not really quite sure what I'm supposed to do with it. It's more like a shotgun approach. Okay. Whereas our herbs and supplements, they work gently to support the body's own ability to heal itself and, and stay well. Okay, so that, well, that makes more sense because you know, let the body heal itself, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. And by doing, and by and by taking the natural side. Now you have, and I see back here, you behind us, you have all kind of teas and herbs and organic honey, but over there, you are on the other side, which you guys can't see, sorry. Um, but you have uh, stuff for the, you know, for the, the body, the health, the sure. hair. Um, let's go over some of the, the products that you do carry. Well, I like to, I like to offer some, it's comprehensive basically. Yes. Okay. Again, I've got natural products for personal, personal care, organic toothpaste and shampoo and skin care, um, body wash and lotions and things that are all natural and really safe and healthy. I also have a lot of vitamins and supplements that are specific if you need some um, supplements to support eye health or changes in our lives that women go through, if you know what I mean. Um, kind of whatever it is, we have it. Okay. Now, for example, if you walk into one of the larger stores, mm -hmm. it's a little bit 
confusing and overwhelming because there might be 27 different brands of vitamin right, C. Right. Well, who can sort through all of right, that, right. right? So what I do is I edit, I'm sorry, I'm sweating. It's a little <laughs> warm under these lights. <laughs> It's not that time of the whatever <laughs> of my life. I'm all past that. But um, anyway, um, it's it's a little overwhelming when you're assaulted with so many products. So right. I edit that down. Okay. And I have a couple of brands, really good products, and that's what I offer. I can tell you we're in this industry for a little while because my my next question was okay. is if I walk in and go, okay, hey Julie, I, I'm not feeling so good on this part of my body, or that my maybe my gut health is wrong. Mm -hmm. um, what can I do? Well, first of all, I have to remind you that I'm not a doctor. That's correct. I don't practice medicine. I don't diagnose, treat, or cure, or claim to. Oh, yeah. But what I do do is I share information. I educate my clients. I empower them to learn more about their bodies and how their bodies work. And then they can make choices based on really good sound information. I'm all about the science because there is a lot of science supporting the use of all these supplements that I carry. Okay. Wow. So that that's good. That's you're not you're not here to treat anybody, but you know, because no. I'm looking around and I see all kind of stuff for different things like turmeric, and I've got you uh -huh. got a little gut health thing over here going yeah. on, and organic and, or, and all the teas. Now, if so, can I come in and you can you actually put together Absolutely. a tea mix for me if I want? Absolutely, I do it all the time, and I've got a few um, blends that I call my house blends okay. now. I've got a nighty night tea that. Well, let me just put it this way. Don't have a cup of that tea and decide you need to run to the grocery store. Might not be safe, really? but these okay. are all herbs and they're very, very safe, actually. Wow. Um, I have a blend for uh, congestion and sinus problems, right. allergies, respiratory stuff called mucus be gone. I know it's weird, but I'm that hey, way. But if it works. I'm a nerd and I'm proud of it. <laughs> but um, there's, a, there's a lot of different formulas that I can put together for people okay. based on their own particular needs. That's awesome. Now, um, I'm even looking when I when when I tell you they've got everything. I'm looking at one across. You have pasta. I know it's a, okay. So, I call it emergency food. Okay. You know I'm not going to try to compete with Whole Foods or Sprouts oh, no, or no, even no, no, Publix no. because they all carry a lot of natural foods these right. days. But what you know if you're in downtown Safety Harbor, you live in the neighborhood, whatever. You're like, oh no, I forgot that. I'll have it. I have olive oil. I have pasta. I've got some nuts and seeds and you know things like that. But I don't try to be everything to everyone because I can't. I don't have the space. There you go. Well, and and I'm tell you what, you've used the space well. Thank you. Because everywhere you look, it's like, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I mean, got stuff over there. I think for hair. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Have so it's, it is what it I, is. I think I might bring a beard wash in or something oh, like hey, that. That Maybe would be that nice. Would be so where can people find you? I'm in beautiful downtown Safety Harbor, 470 2nd Street North. I'm just one block north of Main Street and just a few blocks west of the library. I've been here for 17 years. I plan to be here for at least another 17. And uh, we're easy to find. We're here Tuesday through um, Tuesday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 10 to 2, and Sundays and Mondays are my day off. That a girl. So, can I go to the website and order stuff? I would love for you to do that, but but please keep in mind that on my website, I really just have my special blends. I have okay. a number of formulas encapsulated okay. that are very popular and very effective and safe and gentle and wonderful. But I don't have all my products on the website. Right. I just simply couldn't do that. It's just so I stick with come that. in anyway. Yeah, because I'm telling you, once you come in and you see this place, you're like, oh, this is awesome. If I live locally, yeah. this is like, and this is an easy walk. It is, and we have a lot of conversations conversations here. Um, you know, if you mentioned before, John, that, that if you came in with a gut health issue, well, I wouldn't try to diagnose or treat or cure you. But what I would say is, are you taking your daily probiotic? You know, ah. do you have any food sensitivities? Are you drinking enough water? We all need to have our body weight in ounces of water every day. So it would be peeling the onion Right. to get down to the root cause of what could be what could be causing the problems. So it's just information and education, and right. I ask a lot of questions. So since this is the My Chamber TV show, I'm going to ask you, how's the chamber been treating you? Everything been good? Awesome. Everything's They're going? wonderful. Yeah. I was a member years and years ago. Then I wasn't a member for years and years. And then I rejoined recently, and I'm glad I did. Great leadership, great staff, yes. and I'm so, so glad to be a part of it. Awesome. Well, we got about 55 minutes left, or 55 seconds left. Oh boy, 55 so, minutes, I like that. I mean, we, yeah, we could go on forever and ever and ever. So stick around. Uh, again, this is this is Safety Harbor's uh, day for My Chamber TV, and we are at the, let me say it one more time, Bailey's Naturals Herb 
Apothecary. Close. Herbal. Bailey's, herbal. I, I missed herbal. Bailey's Natural Herbal I can't Apothecary. See. Me they too, need but to make I can see. Things bigger. I've got some herbs for that. You got some herbs. I think <laughs> he needs to do some shopping. What do you think? <laughs> Stick around. We'll be right back with another guest from the My Chamber TV. It was fun. everybody welcome back to my chamber tv again safety harbor edition you know they have safety harbor knocked it out of the park right so we have some great guests we're here at this wonderful apothecary yeah. it's absolutely phenomenal but now we're here with morgan bocchetti yeah Ooh, I got, it right. <laughs> got it right for habitat <laughs> for humanity mm -hmm. west pasco and pinellas correct yes sir okay i think everybody kind of knows yeah but let's let's give the history of Habitat. Habitat. Yes. Of course. So Habitat was actually founded um, in America's Georgia in 1976 by Linda and Millard Fullard. Everybody thinks that um, one of our, our greatest misconceptions is that President Jimmy Carter was our founder. He is not. He's one of our uh, most famous volunteers right. and amazing advocates. Um, still swings the hammer with us Correct. over 90 years old. I know. Um, he's amazing. So if he can do it, anybody can do it. Exactly. Um, so we were founded in 1976. Our affiliate, um, the West Pasco affiliate, was founded in 1993 and Pinellas was founded in 1985 right. so we've been around in this area for a long time for a long time mm -hmm. right so now just let's 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 pull the misconception out let's do it this is not a handout it's not it's a hand up absolutely so let's talk about that process sure yeah I think that's that's another one of the big misconceptions is that we give away free homes we do not our families work twice as hard as any other family. Um, they're, they're in that niche between uh, making too much for government assistance mm -hmm. and too little for a traditional mortgage, right. especially now in these crazy housing market days. Right. Um, so these families are completing the program. They're completing 28 home buyer education classes. They are completing 350 plus sweat equity hours where they're building on their home and other homes around them um, and volunteering. And then they are coming out of the program in 12 to 18 months with a 0% interest mortgage. Right. So they're purchasing the home from Habitat. So Habitat actually holds the mortgage, We correct? sure do. Yep, we service every mortgage. And you give them the education of mm -hmm. how to make sure they pay how that they, mortgage. Exactly, yeah. So those 28 classes, um, actually in uh, a couple months ago, we opened up a education center. It's actually the truest homeowner education center right. in Clearwater at our Clearwater Restore. It's within that location on 49th and Almerton. That's now our hub for education. Okay. So they are taking classes um, very focused on financial education, but also things like how to be a good neighbor, um, some parenting tips and things like that. So there's a, a suite of about almost 35 classes with electives, but they complete 28. And you always hear the budgeting class is one of the first ones they take. It's the most impactful. We've heard homeowners come into the program with 0% in zero dollars in savings, and they leave the program with over five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars it is amazing that you know and i'm not blaming the school systems by no means but our, it's we, a we're huge not mess. we're not yeah. educated and our kids are not educated coming yeah. out it's like well mom and dad's supposed to teach them how to budget well, right we do but you know seeing that education in there is a, a very critical absolutely very i critical. think and that's that's key to the success of the program um i think w i was actually at an event earlier this morning and we were talking about the at a home dedication, I'm sure you have been mm -hmm. to several. I mean, you've been involved for Tons a long time. Of them. So when somebody receives their keys and the keys get handed over, it's really a symbol of the cycle of poverty breaking. Yes. Because a lot of our families, this is their first time owning a home. It's their first time um, being the ones in the family who has purchased a home. Right. So it's that education has never been there. So they're coming out of the program. They're teaching their kids in the process. It's it's really amazing to see. Right. And I and I love the fact that they they literally do. They have sweat equity. Mm -hmm. They have to go in, they, they help build their, their own house, home, mm -hmm. right? And then they help build others because, mm -hmm. you know, side by side. Exactly. And, and that's and such an important part. Yes. Uh, you know, so many people that, you know, they know how to toilet 
they can sit on the toilet, but they don't how they have no idea how it works, right? <laughs> how did it get there? I have a wall that how the wall <laughs> exactly, get there? Well, yeah. now you know. Yeah, right? you know. Yep. And it makes it taking it taking care of it so sure, much. Sure. There's that pride there. There's That's that correct. sense of connection. You know, during the pandemic, we had to have um, sites closed from volunteers and homeowner candidates. So we have right. a a couple classes of homeowners who haven't been able to work on their homes. But they're in their homes now, and that sense of pride is still there. Yeah. We supplemented that with more education, so they they are ready to go. But we we welcomed volunteers back actually um, July one of last year. So we've had them almost back for a year and we, we could not have missed them more. Yeah. And homeowner candidates are so happy to be back out there swinging the hammer. Right. Exactly. Yep. So now let's talk about the stores. Sure. Because yeah. the stores are extremely important in yes, all this part, right? definitely. Let's talk, I say you just opened a brand new one mm -hmm. up in uh, Newport Ritchie. Yes. So we relocated our Palm Harbor store and that is now um, right off of US 19, right past Main Street. Right. So we're in a fantastic location. There used to be a location off of Madison Street in Newport mm -hmm. Ritchie. Um, we actually sold that location. We had owned that property and moved it over to US 19. So now we have this amazing marketing arm. We're right on 19, you can't miss us. Right. We actually had our grand opening last month. So we have our store in Newport Ritchie, and then we have our store in Clearwater off of um, 49th and Olmerton. So at those stores, we accept donations, and then we sell those products, and all the proceeds go back to the um, Let's program. Let's talk about the donations, because yeah. I was just there the other day, Yep. Um, because <laughs> anytime I need something for our studio mm -hmm. or for the house, the first thing I do is I go to Restore, yep, go to, to restore. see what they got. Love it. Right? You need stuff. We because do because it was it was full. Yeah, grand it opening goes and man, very it went quickly. Quick. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of stuff do can people donate? Any kind of new and gently used home goods. Okay. So, building materials, home furnishings, couches, appliances, cabinets. If you're doing a remodel and you are trying to get rid of cabinets, call Habitat. We'd be happy to come pick them up. Um, and and those those get sold, and every single purchase goes back into funding the next home that gets built. Right. So. We're always looking for donations. We're always looking for shoppers. We're also really looking for volunteers in that store ah, okay. specifically. Um, we have a group of folks called the Weekday Warriors yes. who come out um, on build sites. We have a really strong group in Pinellas and we're trying to build it up there as well. So mm -hmm. those people normally come out to um, sites or in the restores and help um, help with customer service and greeting and things like that, taking donations in. So we're looking for folks who maybe they don't wanna come out and swing a hammer. That's totally fine. Come to the restore. Enjoy the air conditioning and, <laughs> and help out the resource folks. Right. So we're always looking for volunteers there. Okay. And now just to make sure everybody knows, no clothes, right? No, no clothes. We give that to other people. Yep. We actually help direct them to anybody, any other um, nonprofit that's in the area that okay. takes those kind of donations. So um, they definitely get, they get rerouted to the right so place. This is the greatest question of all, yeah. right? So what, what projects you got going on right now? Oh my gosh. We have so much fun <laughs> right? stuff going right? on. So we actually just um, a few weeks ago purchased about five acres of land in Newport Ritchie off of Little Road, mm -hmm. um, right across from the new VA that's being built. We have our 75 unit home um, development in Pinellas Park. We just celebrated the final dedication for now um, in that area. So we have about 50 homes in finished in there, which is pretty amazing. Wow, that's it's, amazing. It's huge. Um, and then we also have some projects coming up in Largo and uh, Clearwater as well. So okay. we're kind of all over the place, always having um, infill projects as well. And let me guess, you need volunteers. We always need volunteers. We love to have them. Um, you know, it takes about a thousand hours of volunteer work, volunteer labor to help us build a home. So we are always in search of volunteers. It could be, um, you know, one of the big things we're talking about right now with summer coming up, mm -hmm. bright features. Yes. So there's age requirements, but for most part, we can always love to have those younger volunteers come out and swing a hammer, come into the restore, help us in our office. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have kids or you're looking to get them involved in, in Habitat and get involved with um, with building or with philanthropy, we'd love to have them. Okay. So if I'm sitting home watching this going, Phew, I don't want to work in the store, yep. which is fine, fine. Um, but I want to go on a site and work, yep. but I don't really know how to do anything. Oh, Perfect. I'm this, I'm, hey, you're not alone. <laughs> I'm that person. I was actually just out a couple of weeks ago um, on framing day okay. and I learned all kinds of new things, which is amazing. So every time you go out to a site, you'll learn something new, which is awesome. No experience necessary. Our site supervisors are trained to work with volunteers and to train them on a task. Right. Once they feel comfortable doing something, they've learned a new skill. You've, you, you come off the site with a new sense of pride because you know how to install hurricane shutters or help do framing, things like that. So no experience required. We'd love to have you. Okay. Um, so the website, let's talk mm -hmm. about the website. Yeah. It's a big tool for you guys. It's a huge tool. Yeah. Oh, let's talk about that real quick. Sure. So on our website, habitatpwp.org, you can find... Um, 
You can find our uh, registration links for volunteers. Okay. You can also apply to the program, learn okay. about um, the requirements and things like that. And then you can also donate. Okay. So we have all kinds of opportunities there from home sponsorships to corporate team build days. So if you would like to get um, some more visibility and branding for your business right. and bring your folks out for a team building day, okay. come out onto the, uh, the site and it's all on the website. So we got about a minute and a half mm -hmm. left. This is the question I'm going to ask you. I'm sitting okay. at home. I'm also watching this going, you know what? That sounds like a great plan for me mm -hmm. or, or my family. Yeah. How do I get started? You can visit the website. Yep. It's my number one place to go because you, we've made it very easy and accessible. Apply, donate, shop. Those are your top three things. If you're interested in something else, my information is on the screen. Please feel yep. free to reach out. I'd okay. love to chat with you. Um, but the website's going to be your first spot. Okay. And, yep. and is there is there is, um, something I need to know minimum-wise to get started with you guys? Nope. Just... Just have a, a heart for the mission, want to help people out, and um, help give that hand up. There you go. Yeah. See, Habitat for Humanity, awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome organization. Thank you. I've been involved with them for almost Long 15 time. years. Yeah. It's so it's and I've seen two directors go in and out. So <laughs> it's been great, great. Yeah. Stick around. We got uh, more great people coming up. So uh, go grab some coffee, tea, whatever you need, <laughs> and we'll be right back after these messages. Okay, everybody, welcome back. You know, soap is a new thing. And I never realized how much of a new thing it really is, right? So I've got Margaret and Desiree from Blue Lux Island. I'm going to try to get that right. And you guys produce your own soap. Yes. And other stuff, of course. Yes. Let's talk about that. Well, well first of all, why soap? Well, we decided to do soap because we wanted to bring the luxurious spa experience to your home and make it available to everyone for the people that may not be able to get to the spa. Um, so we decided to start with soap um, also because it's for the biggest organ on your body, your skin. skin. Why not right. take care of it? Okay. And, and so who is the, who is the mastermind? We, we collaborate together. Yes. It's a collaborative yes. effort. So. Yes. Margaret and I curate and have a direct influence on the ingredients, scents, colors of all of the products that we produce aside from my candles. Yeah. So basically we collaborate with our soap maker okay. and she helps us to bring those things to fruition. Yes. Oh, okay. All yes. right. So, so, uh, so how did you come up? Okay. Blue Island. Uh, I mean, Blue Lux Island. There's got to be a there's got to be a story behind that. It's name. definitely a story be behind that name. Um, and I'll let Desiree go first and let her be the one to tell you about the Blue Lux Island. Okay. Well, basically, the blue is an acronym. It stands for Brown Like Us. So we're underrepresented in a in in a um, industry mm -hmm. that's you know there's not a lot of soap makers that look like us. Not a lot of opportunities for women. Um, so we've decided that with Blue Lux, we've given other women an opportunity for the platform right. as well. And that's exactly what we do. Okay. Uh, we have networking events at our storefront over in St. Pete. We use a female minority as our soap maker. Okay. So that's where the blue came from. Okay. Just brown like us and giving us an opportunity to come to the forefront with all the talents Good. that we that's have excellent. as well. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And Lux stands for luxury. It's short for luxury. And we want to bring that spa experience, the luxury right. opportunity to your home. And Island, we chose that because, hey, 
when you think of island, you think of fun. So right. when you think of Blue Lux Island, we want it to be fun and luxurious. Right. To have fun at home, luxuriate at home. It, it is. It is. It is weird that we'll go and we'll go. We'll go to a spa or we'll go to a hotel, and you get there and the soaps like when you and you're like, wow, that was. That was really good soap, and I didn't feel that way at home. And I get home, and you know, I'm an old, I'm, I'm, I'm old. I, I'm an ivory soap guy, you know. Yeah. So I, I'm like, yeah. why do I not feel as good as I did at the hotel yes. that I do here? Yes. That's got to be the water. No, no, it's actually the soap. It's the product. Actually, the product. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then that's one mm -hmm. of the things we like to drive home is use products that you can pronounce the name as minimum as possible ingredients, all natural ingredients. And you'll appreciate it. Your skin will appreciate right. it, and it'll show as well. Because it'll keep you looking younger, yes, longer, it will. right? Absolutely. Yes. Help well, with fine lines and wrinkles. Okay. Moisturization, and also keep you glowing. Keep you glowing as well. I'm always glowing. Yes. Because I'm a ball yes. guy, and yes. I get burnt, and it's just the way it is. <laughs> so let's talk about some of the type, so type, the types of soap that you actually bring to market. Okay. okay. Uh, I'll uh, start off and uh, one of the um, popular soaps that we have at our store and that is a customer uh, fan favorite is our aloe and cucumber. Ooh. Yes. That um, even smells good, right? Yes. Mm. <laughs> and when we say soaps, we have true soaps. It is a true soap. So you have a cleaning in that soap and we also include additional oils in that soap too. Uh, to both clean and moisturize your skin. So the aloe cucumber, one of the um, specific ingredients that we like to brag about is that we put actual aloe vera in that particular mm. soap with a splash of uh, essential oils of cucumber. So um, we then also include our olive oil, coconut oil, mm. shea butter, mm -hmm. and palm seed oil um, that has been reasonably sourced as well. So. Whenever we think of these particular soaps, we also keep our consumer in mind. What would they like? How would they like to feel? So that's one of our fan favorites, and that's a soap that I'd like to bring attention to. Right? Yeah, we have a we have a few, but a, yeah. a couple of us. That's definitely one that we've um, curated. But another fan favorite is going to be the turmeric and honey. So what sets us aside from some of our competitors would be some of the superior ingredients that we include yes. in our products. Um, and that turmeric and honey bar, it's actually organic turmeric that's included. The color of the bar itself is derived from the turmeric okay. being included. And the honey, it comes from actually the honey farm where our soap maker raises bees. Yeah. So oh, those are actually wow. the yeah. honey from her bees yes. on her farm yes. that's incorporated into our bar. Yeah. And as we all know, turmeric is really good for anti-inflammatory. It's good for the spots and kind of some of those dark areas we get on our yes. elbows and knees. So yes. that's a, just kind of a, a small glimpse into some of the products, yes. some of the offerings and some of the attention and the detail that okay. goes into the products that we offer at Blue Lux. That yeah. is, now you make candles. Did I hear the word candle? Well, we have Belusa right now. We're working on candles. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yes. We're working on candles. We're working That's on awesome. candles yeah. and curating for our yeah. particular business, one specifically for our business, Blue right. yes. Lux Island. Okay. Yes. yes. I've always I've always wondered why we can't make a, a soap that goes for the skin and for the hair. Well, uh, I tell everyone, because I do have some customers, we also sell shampoo bars with conditioner. Uh, and yes, and we tell okay. some of our customers, they want one and done. I tell them, my soap is able to be using your hair as well as your body, head mm -hmm. to toe. So you do not have to have a separate soap and a separate shampoo Genius. bar. Genius. Yes. Genius. Yes. The addition that we put in our shampoo bars is the fattiest part of the coconut for the um, conditioning part. Okay. But our soaps are mild enough to use from head to toe. So you definitely can use that bar from head to toe. That so is now would the tumor to turn my beard red? Because I'm okay with that. No. Yes. You know, no, red heads are fiery. Red. You know, yes. I don't think no. you're saying. No. No, no, not at all. Not, not at, at all. all. Again, we've paid great attention to yep. the detail when yes. it comes to ensuring that even the bars that are colored, they're colored with mica, which is a cosmetic gray coloring. Right. Yeah. So we don't have any staining or discolorations. 
Um, we didn't want anything that would be harmful for the skin or for your clothes. I mean, yes. as women, you don't want to walk around and, and then you got some red color in here because right. you used one of our bite me bars. Right. right. You know, so. Oh, what's a bite me bar? Oh, the bite that's me. another thing. <laughs> See? Yeah. You got my curiosity yeah. right now. What's a bite me yeah. bar? Uh, Does that make you biteable? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I got it. Yeah. I got it quickly. You want to take off. Yes. <laughs> when we think of our bite me, the bite me is a cherry based soap so it's oh. like a bowl of cherries yes. with a hint of vanilla added <sighs> so it smells so good that we named it bite me because when we think bite uh cherries and the way this bar smell we said oh just bite me <laughs> that is genius yes yes husbands must love it <laughs> oh absolutely absolutely and we sell it not in just soap we have it in a body butter we have it in a bath bomb wow. a shower steamer like a and a sugar scrub. scrub so you can go head to toe okay. with our bite me yes yeah. Yeah. so you have a very big selection oh, absolutely. absolutely oh i've got yes. to come down here because mm -hmm. my wife and i like i can only i can only go into soap sh uh, soap shops really quickly Okay. Because I have migraines, I have and sensitivity. Right. Mm -hmm. But the bite me thing, yeah, yes. that sounds awesome. Yes. Right? So where are you located? We're located on 657 Central Avenue, St. Pete. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the zip code is 33701. Okay. And you have a website, of course, coming. It's, mm -hmm. it's getting there, right? Yes. Yes. It should be up within the next week and a half. Perfect. Now, am, can I order? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And we're very informal. Again, just standing true to the Blue Lux and the brand and who yes. we are. You can always call the store if it's something you like or you're interested in. She and I right now are running the store along with a couple of family members. So you're always going to be able to speak to the owners that get the owners awesome. yes. and be able to say, oh, yeah, you know what? You guys just got to bite me. And can you set me a couple bars aside? And we got you. Yes. So, so you're locally sourced. Yes. I mean, your, your maker is, right? Absolutely. And she does the cut and the whole nine yards. Absolutely. That comes in. Yes. And now are you going to be, are you going to offer shipping as well? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And wow. right now we haven't figured out how that would work as far as the, uh, if, will there be shipping fees? And if so, mm -hmm. at what price point will there be a shipping fees? Well, if I get soap that's going to have my wife bite me, yes. I'm I a nibble on my shoulder or something like that. I'm all in. Absolutely. I'll pay whatever it takes. Yes. yes. Uber that stuff to yes. me. I'm we, just saying. Yes. We definitely appreciate that. And we hope everyone has the same uh, sentiment and that yeah, but uh, we definitely wow. have a superior product and that we're ready to get out to and the you're world. you're open now. We absolutely. are open now. What's your absolutely. store hours? Our store hours are uh, Monday we're closed. Uh, Tuesday we're open 12 to uh, 5 o'clock. Wednesday 11 to 6. Thursday 11 to 6 and then Friday Saturday 11 to 7 and Sunday's 12 to 5. So we have a good amount of hours and days that we're open awesome. just closed on Mondays. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Well, I, look, it, I can't say more. I mean, you ladies did it all right there. That's a great yes. product. Mm -hmm. Stick around. We got more great guests coming on My Chamber TV. This is the Safety Harbor edition. We'll be right back after these messages. We're back. Welcome back to My Chamber TV. And we got Pamela Bell. You're from EXP Realty. Yes, I am. And we were just saying, literally, I'm going to take your words, the real estate world has changed overnight. Yep, it certainly has. Let's talk about this. Okay. So last night, the interest rates actually climbed to over 6%. Mm. And that's for a typical 30 year mortgage. Okay. The typical person usually gets a 30 year mortgage. Right. Yeah. Okay. So um, now how long have you been in this real estate world? Because you probably didn't two weeks ago. You go, I think I'm going to be a realtor. Oh, no. Yeah. So um, that is a whole story in itself. Let's talk about that story. Uh, we got time. <laughs> we got plenty of time. Uh, well, eight years ago, I used to um, be a chef, a personal chef <gasps> in the Hamptons. No way. Mm -hmm. Yep. I okay. loved it. 
and uh, a family member took ill and I had to switch gears and move back to Florida. Okay. And then when I did that, I was looking for work and I happened to be in my church and I was talking to some women and this gal came over and said, I heard you're looking for work. And I said, I am. So she said to me, um, have you, do you know what a buyer's agent is? And I said, no. And then she explained what that is. And I thought, well, I can make some really good money doing that if I'm successful right. and I'll give it a shot. So I got my license. I started and within two days, her broker told me that I would be the kind of individual in real estate that wouldn't be working for someone, that I would be working for myself and building my own team. Right. So he was right. In two days, I left her and sought out a, a real estate company that could really teach me and give me the education and law that you need in yes. real estate. Because typical buyers think as soon as the market goes like this, that, oh, I'm going to sell my house by myself. Right. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no is correct. <laughs> there is too many obstacles to overcome. Right. There's too many pitfalls. You can get sued. People will take advantage of you because yep. buyers are trying to get the lowest price and mm -hmm. sellers are trying to get the highest price. Right. You need a liaison in there that actually knows what they're doing and has real estate right. law knowledge. And you just don't slap a sign up and go, it's for sale. Oh, no, there's a lot more than that. <laughs> I'm a huge believer in marketing. Okay. Uh, I love to market. I actually stage my own homes. I don't hire a staging company unless I'm doing very large homes or high-end homes right. that are over 700000 mm -hmm. And then the homeowner may opt to have furniture come in. But everything else I'm doing on my own. Okay. And um, there's consultation. You need to prepare the house. I've gone into homes where they don't think they need to walk, clean their windows. Mm. You can't long, the days of just vacuuming your house right. are gone. Right. If you want to get top dollar, you have to present your home in that light. And the best way to do that is with a professional because you may think your house looks good, but I'm going to come in and gently tell you, <laughs> You're let's, have, give the a, honest opinion. let's have a discussion <laughs> right. and let me tell you how to sell your home. Right. And then I always say you can either take my suggestions or you can do what you'd like. Um, obviously, I'm very successful at what I'm doing right, because right. I love it. Um, and uh, I will add this. I'm very Christian based. Okay. And I believe everything that comes from my line of work and everything I do right. is God given. My talents are God given. And uh, all the people that I get to work with, I think he brings into my life and I don't say no to him. Right. And then I just try to do the right thing by my clients. Oh, that's awesome. That's, Thank you. That, that's a great <laughs> philosophy. Thank you. Um, I, I, so let me ask you this, because you see it on TV, I think, you know, uh, call us, we'll give you cash for a house today, blah, 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 blah. You, that, that's really not a good way to go. No, because you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Right. First of all, do you know that buyer? Who are they? Do right. they have credentials? How long have you known them? How do you know you're going to be able to trust them? You right. need to have somebody that's professional to vet them. Uh, you need to ask them certain questions. I'm sure that's not what they're doing for a living. Mm. So um, I don't think they're going to really know what kind of questions to look for. Right. You have inspections to go through. You have appraisals to go through. Um, after that inspection, it gets dicey right. because then there's other negotiations that go through. Right. No home is ever perfect. Not one home on the market is ever perfect. There will always be something wrong right. with your house that needs to be updated. Right. Even builders have what they call a punch list. The punch list consists of anywhere from 10 to 20 items that have to be cleaned up and done before that homeowner moves into that brand new home. Right. There's all kinds of closing costs that go with it. It depends on if it's cash or if it's a mortgage. Mm -hmm. um, Cash deals save you a little bit more money. And by the way, that's going to segue me right into what I'm going to say about cash. Um, no longer is everything or even 50% cash deals. It really depends upon the price range of the market that you're purchasing in. Um, we are not seeing that many large cash sales as we were three months ago. And, uh, you know, every... Every time you do buy with cash, there's a lot of negotiations that are more easily made because the homeowner's much more interested in right, getting right. cash right, because correct. you don't have an appraisal. Right. That appraisal is usually waived. 
By the way, I'm going to make a suggestion. Do not get a house without an inspection. What you don't see, you will not know until it's too late. Right. And buyer beware if you do that. Don't don't do that. I would I as a realtor would never buy my house without getting an inspection. Right. Yeah, it's it's very I mean, um so <clears throat> I, my I have family that's in the in both sides, right? Okay. Um and I have a friend of mine that does inspections and every other year he'll come out, we'll pay him for an inspection, even though we're not selling the house. Yeah. I just want to know what I need to be looking for. I, I see things, but he sees things differently than I see. That's things. right. That's right. right. Yeah. Okay. So you, so you say you, let's go back to marketing. You, you're, you are a big believer in marketing, marketing. Oh, oh yes. Oh yeah. So, um, I've been very fortunate, very blessed that I have been able to get more than top dollar for my, my, my sellers. Right. That's basically because of all the money and all the marketing that I put into each home that I'm representing. Right. And I take it very personally, <laughs> which you're not supposed to do, but um, mm. I get it. It's hard not to get to know the people that you're working with. Right. And you're consulting with them and you're sitting down with them for hours and hours and hours. Yeah. And then you're going and you're working in their house and, you know, asking them, like, let's declutter this area. Let Maybe we need to paint. Um, let's do some of them will get a. Um, an inspection, a pre-inspection mm -hmm. before we do it. And they might even get an, an appraisal before we get the house on the market, just so we can see like, let's balance this out and see where we want to go. Right. The market is so uh, volatile right now. Right. It is changing daily. I okay. mean, just two days ago, it was under 6%. Yeah. Today it's over 6%. And I think it's supposed to go up by the end of the week, almost uh, half a point, which is really scary. They are definitely going to keep increasing um, the interest rate throughout the year. So if I'm looking to sell my house and I, and I contact you and I say, hey, Pam, I want to sell my house. Are, are you going to do a CMA for me? Yes, of course I am. Okay. Do, now, CMAs mean a comparable market analysis. Correct. And that means what I'll do is I'll take the homes that are in your neighborhood and very close into the surroundings and let you know square footage, bet how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms. If, is the kitchen updated? Are the bathrooms updated? What are the floor conditions? Is there a pool? How many garages that they have? You want to look at the roof, the air conditioning. Um, you need to take all of that into account right. um, as to how much that your home is going to be worth. And then you need to get comparables, mean just like as close to what your house has into it, right. what their homes have into okay. it. Yeah, you don't want to take, if your house is a $500,000 home, you, you don't want to go down the street and get a million dollar property. Right. First of all, an appraiser is never going to use that property. And second of all, it's not even, there's no comparison. Right. All right. So you need to be as close as possible. Okay. So what areas do you handle? Okay. So I actually handle all of Pinellas County. Okay. All right. I have lived here for 40 years. I've sold homes all the way up in Brooksville and I've gone all the way down, believe it or not, to Port Charlotte. Whoa. All right. Now, that's not my where I, right. I usually go. That's a drive. <laughs> okay, it is. But I have uh, people that I've helped up here that right. moved down there, okay. and they know, love, and trust me, <laughs> so they want me to go back down there and help them. Okay. Uh, all right. And like I said, I've been here for 40 years. Um, I've worked here. My children have grown up here. I know the area really well. I'm a big foodie. I love restaurants. So I can really um, be a type of a jack-of-all-trades to people. Right. And those items and things that I'm not an expert in being here. I've weeded out all the good, the good vendors, people right. that other customers have loved, okay. not necessarily me, but other customers that would like in, to use them again. They always get referred by me Got it. because they've done my customers a really good service. Yep. And that's a big deal. So what's the best way to get hold of you? Um, phone on the phone, <laughs> call her. Phoning and texting, yes. Oh, you're good with texting? I love texting. Ah, because, see? Because Texting's te a big deal. Texting will get you um, more e immediate response because I can't always break away from what I'm doing and give you a call, but I can see the text and then text you back real fast. Like, please don't tell the police this, but I'll text <laughs> them at the red light and say, I'll get back to you just as soon as I can, no. you know, but I can't do that if I'm sitting at the, at, you know, if I'm at a red light, because uh, you're not really supposed to be on the phone. That is correct. <laughs> well, Pamela, thank you for being on today. We appreciate okay. it. Hey, thank stick you. around. We got an ad coming from Safety Harbor Chamber of Commerce. We're just going to say, hey, what's up? We'll be right back after this.
Okay, we're back, and you know what? We got Safety Harbor in the house. Yes. So, you did a good job, I have to say. I am very happy with all the, the, all the guests today. Thank you. Everybody Thank was you. on topic, and they were good stuff. I mean, snow, smell good. We got health to make us feel yeah, good, right? Yeah, yeah. And we got to go out and work in the community and make us work. And now we got someone that can help us find a beautiful house, exactly, especially in Safety Harbor. Exactly. If, there right, just such, right. if there's anything out there, I don't know. So what's <laughs> going on with the chamber? Well, there's always something going on. I know. With the you guys are never you know, boring. No, 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 never. Um, springtime and wintertime, of course, is the busy season. Right. So the snowbirds have gone home, but there's still some activity. And Third Friday is just booming. So every third Friday of the month, you've got to come down to Safety Harbor. Right. Every single block has some type of music, mostly live entertainment. Right. Sometimes there's two venues of live entertainment on a block, right. inside and outside. A lot of music, a lot of variety. Down at the gazebo, we often start out with something to entertain the children. Yeah, they got to have the kiddos it's, something to do. Right, it's a family event. You know, bring your family, bring right. your children, bring your puppies. There's <laughs> someone that's going to be selling dog biscuits, uh, probably homemade. There's all kinds of excellent things to keep um, everyone in the, every family member entertained. So a lot of music. A lot of food. The merchants on Main Street open up. They're there till nine, if not later. Right. And it's a great opportunity for them as well. And we encourage people to shop local. We're Safety Harbor. We've got just about everything. If you can't and find it here, you you probably exactly, don't need it. I'm just saying. Exactly. So there's always something going on Third Friday. It's great. We're lucky. The rain has not washed us out yet. You know, there's always a chance of rain in yeah. the summertime. But for some reason, maybe that's why we're called Safety Harbor. We're safe from the storms on right. Third Friday. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'll, um, I'll, I'll buy that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so things are always hopping. Okay. Yep. And um, yeah. So let me ask you a question because we have filmed now for almost a year, and we always you always find us great locations, right? So how is it easy to find locations now that you they go? Like, hey, I want to be filmed. I want to be filmed there too. It is easy because our members want to showcase their business. Right. So when I talk to our members, like today at Julie's Naturals, Bailey's Naturals. I was just like, yeah, I want to showcase my business and we'll have the filming there. So a lot of the brick and mortars want yes. to be filmed there. And only members. We only, you know, only at a member's right. um, location. So it's not difficult. No. It is it, not. And I tell yeah. you, you know, normally when we, when we show up somewhere, we're like, okay, what are we in for today? Because, and it's always been really good restaurants. And when I heard we were going to a store, and I'm like, well, it's going to be interesting. And I figured a little cottagey type thing. It is a little cottagey, yeah, but yeah, man, this yeah. is a powerhouse. You walk in here and you, you cannot not leave having something healthy for you. That's right. I can't leave without I got tea. Something. She made oh, me tea. Yeah. I got tea over here. Let oh, me sleep. she made you yep, some she, tea. Yep, yep. Hmm. I, she was a little bit. I'm like, oh, thank you. Appreciate oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Um, and then I got some soap from the soap hall. Yeah. My yeah. wife's going to love that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so what else have got going on other than Third Friday? Well, I also wanted to comment on you said that um, we had a great crew today. You know, I got some mm. good people here to, to be interviewed, some of our members. Well, and you asked me, you know, is that easy to do? Well, it's easy to find a venue, yes. but it was easy to find a group of people to, a group of members to be interviewed right. because they get excited about My Chamber TV. Oh, and it's a you. you make it a relaxed, comfortable atmosphere, so... It's fun for everyone. Hopefully, you're having fun too. It looks like it. <laughs> I, I normally Barbara's here. You get you get the pleasure of Barbara, and she's really that's what her that's that's her. This is her world, and I don't mind doing it, and I have fun doing it because I just I like talking to people. Mm -hmm. But it's I love meeting the new members. I mean, I know maybe they're not new, but for me, they're new, right, right. and I don't know them, and mm -hmm. I, and it's like wow, I did not know this was here. Wow, it's always a wow moment for me when I get to sit down with you know your partners. I mean, just absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So, and, and some of our members are new. One of our members had only been a member maybe two or three weeks. So some oh, of them are very better. new. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, a little bit about the chamber too. You know, we're a visitor center and chamber in the same location. Yes. So. Um, our visitor centers open seven days a week. Whew. A lot of um, visitors that come into Safety Harbor. Right. You know, Safety Harbor is a small town with 15,000 people. I think mm -hmm. it may have changed at the last census. And our chamber keeps growing. The, the amount of visitors that come mm -hmm. in increases every year. 
and um, our chamber membership increases. In fact, we just met a milestone. We have 400 members as of a couple weeks ago. Congratulations! So, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody can clap. Everybody can clap. Yes, yes, yes. We're real happy about that. And that's big for a small community because we're is. not as big as St. Pete and some of nope. the other towns. So. Um, I think our location has a lot to do with it. Plus, right. we think we're a fun chamber. So you are a fun chamber. It's a relaxed, easygoing place, and we feel the same way, but we do take care of business as well. I, I, have, never, I have never met anybody that has never told me, that not told me that when they went to Safety Harbor, man, if we could live here, that would be just absolutely phenomenal because it is, it is such a cozy, quaint and you're right. It's like you don't get storms, but you 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 know the rain kind of leaves you alone a little bit because I think at the end where we're at and stuff yeah. like that. So this is a great great place. It is. It is. And now I have to tell you my little story that I tell on um, visitors that come into the chamber. They often ask why is it called Safety Harbor. So I tell them a little bit of the history, and then I say, you know, the reason it's Safety Harbor is we're safe from pirates. No, that's <laughs> awesome. The pirates can't get into the shallow part no, of the Gulf, cannot. can they? Right. Or the nope. bay, right? Yep. Right. And. Um, Knock on wood. Yeah, don't say we've been yeah. out here in hits. No That's bad fine. storm, so right. we won't talk anymore about that because no, no. I don't want to jinx it. But right. yeah, people love to come into the chamber and, and visitor center and hear a little bit about Safety Harbor, and we love pointing them out to the different areas. And there's so much to do. Um, there's a, a company that'll be renting golf carts that's um, going to be joining the chamber soon nice. and coming, so that's going to be available. There's a place where you can buy golf carts, and you can rent bicycles, and of course, it's a great walking town, so we encourage say, people to come out to Safety it's Harbor. It's such a good walking town. Mm -hmm. I mean, I should say, let's say great walking town, because you literally, Main Street all the way from the resort all the way up, there's... And there's stuff to do everywhere. There is, there is. And you know what's nice about Main Street? It goes east and west. And so on third Friday in the evenings, on those hot evenings, there's always a that little breeze. breeze coming from yep. the from the bay. So kind of keeps things And then, in you check. know, during the during the food when I love your food events, you can you can start on the uh, west side and start walking down yeah. and you smell the food all the way up. Yeah. And you're like, Well, so you eat a little bit here, you eat a little bit there, you eat a little bit here, you eat a little bit, a little bit there. You can literally eat your way all the way you down really Main Street. You really can, starting right there at the stop sign yep. in, in, yep. on uh, t uh, 10th and uh, Main Street, yep. all the way to the spa. Well, so what's places. anything else going on with the good, uh, wonderful chamber? Well, we're working on third chamber? Friday. We do that every month and um, we always have networking events. So on okay. um, the first Tuesday of every month, we have a coffee and it's often at the Chamber of Commerce in our big conference room. Mm -hmm. I say big conference room because it seats a lot of people, right. 18 comfortably. Wow. And um, so we have coffee there, sometimes at one of the local restaurants, of course, a member. And then on the third Wednesday of the month, we have a happy hour event. Sometimes it's a ribbon cutting happy hour. Sometimes it's a business after hours, but it's some type of festivity okay. at a business nice. um, that is a member. Okay. And that's every month. And we encourage guests to stop in and, you know, get, experience what um, the Safety Harbor Chamber is like. Come to one of our events. You can come as a guest a couple of times. And think about, you know, do I want to join the chamber or which one? More than likely, you'll find ours more fun and you'll probably join. But there's no pressure. You right, just right. come, enjoy. So there's a couple opportunities to do that. Well, let's that. talk about that. So I'm sitting, I'm, I'm watching this right now online, right? And I'm sitting mm -hmm. there going, oh, you know, maybe I, I didn't really need to join the chamber of commerce. Yeah. How do I go about it? It's simple. Um, we're flexible. We're easygoing. Like Safety Harbor has that atmosphere, and we are too. Um, people can go to our webpage, www.safetyharborchamber.com. And there's a link that says join now. Click on that, you fill out the application. It'll get sent to us at the chamber. Any one of us can process it. Payment can be made online. If you're hesitant, put your credit card Gotta online. Like stop in, some stop in and write a check because right. that's how their bookkeeping works for their business. We're flexible on that. Um, and then we respond to you and within Within 48 hours, you'll be um, acknowledged that you are a new member of okay. the chamber. We'll put something on Facebook to um, introduce you to the community. And speaking of Facebook, we have a lot of followers, over 14,000 followers. Holy so cow. we encourage our members awesome. to let us know what you're putting on your Facebook, right. and we'll put it on ours. So there's no charge. It's a benefit. And we encourage guests and visitors, check out our Facebook so you know what's going on in town. Who's having a special? Right. What's going on down on Main Street? Any of that. That so, is absolutely phenomenal. But it's really easy to join. And then we immediately um, notify our members with a weekly email of what's going on. We keep it short. No one wants to read an email this long. Yeah. You know, we L keep it War short. Peace, to the we point. do not send out. Right, yeah, yep, there's enough things that we all have to do. Right. So it's a, it's a simple and process. It's a great, and it's a good benefit for your company. 
It is. I mean, it is. it's the, the 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 connections you you can make be, because you got to be in you got to be involved with the chamber. It's right. It's a big right, deal. Right. It's beneficial when you take when you participate in the opportunities that we offer as benefits. There you go. And a lot of those are free. Those networking events that I talked about, those are free. Facebook that that's complimentary. That's awesome. Yeah, we have a revolving screen in our visitor center with yep. um, members um, whatever they want to send us in a JPEG format or a mini video, and that's constantly going. And there's so many people that stop into the chamber for a meeting if they're a member mm -hmm. or just passing by and um yeah lots of thank opportunities thank you for allowing us thank to be in safety again, harbor John. this week Always we appreciate it thanks everybody for watching we do appreciate it my chamber tv look we're here to help the communities and the chambers we'll see everybody next week on my chamber tv